Hey guys, it's Timmy here from TimmySiff11.com, and this is a new series. I'm going to be playing The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Um, I came across the theme song for this game on YouTube the other day, and you can hear it right now, and it's playing. Well, I played this game about four years ago, non-stop. And this is the only game in my mind that rivals Minecraft in terms of fun for me. Um, two very different games, uh, for sure. But with Skyrim coming out in November, I'm going to just slowly play my way through Morrowind. I don't own Oblivion. I have Morrowind. And um, I just kind of want to play through it a little bit. Maybe not get to the end, but I kind of want to just get to... I just kind of want to show the gameplay. I don't know. I kind of want to get back into the Elder Scrolls, especially with Skyrim coming up. Gosh, that music is so epic. So we can just take a listen for a minute here, but uh, we're going to get started. Do a new game. And guys, I don't know how long these episodes are going to be or how many of them I'm going to do, but uh, let's listen to this. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero... Ah, I missed it. years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morwen, even of the role he was to play in that nation's history. So here's the opening cutscene. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, tomorrow we need. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Ah, she gives me goosebumps! Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Oh, man. Stand up. There you go. There we go. Hello, You're dreaming. Juib? What's your name? What's my name? Well, it's Chimney Swift, of course. Duh. Not even last night's storm could wake you. Nope. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Well, let's hope so. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Hey, guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Alrighty. W and S move forward and back. A and D move side to side. And the mouse looks around, obviously. Sprint runs. You can sprint. So this episode is just going to kind of set things up, you guys. I don't know. Leave a like and a comment below if you want to see some more of this. Um, I absolutely love this game. It's so much fun. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as so simple far. as possible. It's open. Hatch to Satanine. This Hello. is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. All right. You finally arrived. Records don't show from where. Okay, so now we've got to pick a, uh, a class. And um, I typically go with Nord. I don't know, I just like the Nord class. Um, there are certain classes that don't have helmets. You're not allowed to, you, you can't wear helmets or boots. So that kind of is a turn off for me just because um, I like that kind of thing. So I'm going to go with the Nord again. Um, Let's uh just because they're they're I can wear all the armor and I think they look really cool. <laughs> so let's change his face up a little bit and we'll go with uh Let's go with this guy. He looks he looks awesome. Let's change his hair. I don't really like his hair. Let's go with brown hair, do you think? Let's see here. Um I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's go with that. That looks probably pretty good. I look like a like a sweet warrior. So I've got uh, these are my skill bonuses already, and uh, actually, you know what? Hold on a second here. So I really like using swords. This guy's got axes. Eh, you know what? That's okay. Alright, so let's do. Is it this? Oh, it was this one, right? 
Yep. All right. So let's go. Okay. Great. What the fit, heck? Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Finish your release. So, guys, these graphics are obviously a little outdated, but uh, the content in this game is amazing. So involved. Um, really, really cool. And uh, now we have to pick our class. Ah, uh, yes, guy. we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have Gala. to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Okay, let's do, um... I'm gonna fill out the forms myself and create a custom class. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Back. I want to give the info and pick from a class list. That's what I want to do. Alright, so we've got different skills here. We've got the acrobat. Specialization is in stealth. Um, let me think. An agent, what is that? Personality and agility. Major skills. Speechcraft, sneak, acrobatics, light armor, and short blade. Um... I always choose something different, usually. So, like, if I were to choose knight, you know, like, the... My major skills are long blade, axe, speechcraft, that kind of stuff. Um, rogue, short blade, running tail, axe, scout, sneak, long blade, medium armor, athletics, and block. I want to be something kind of... Um, uh, that's the word I'm looking for well balanced I guess but at the same time I want to smell sword. I want to be nimble and and uh, fast and not slow night blade I've been a night blade before I remember those those days when I used to play night healer crusader what was it? battle mage that one's always cool Bard. Alright, I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with the... Agent. Speechcraft, Sneak, Acrobatics, Light Armor, and Short Blade. Minor Skills, Mercantile, Conjuration, Block, Unarmored, and Illusion. Those look cool. All right. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Oh, yes. And what would that be? Well, my sign would be... Let's see. The Apprentice, the Atronach, the Lady... Um, the steed, fortify speed, twenty-five points. That's probably that's good. Let's see, the tower, the warrior, fortify attack by ten points. The serpent. Um. Hmm. Fortify jelly. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the steed. I like that. I think the steed is good. Fortify speed by twenty-five points. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Uh, yeah, looks good to me. Jimmy Swift, a Nord, I'm an agent, and the Steed. That looks fine. Looks good. Now you have a stats menu where you can always view your information. So down here, it's a stats menu. Right-clicking allows you to use your menus. When you are done with them, right-click again to close Show them. your papers to the captain when you exit to get cool. your release fee. So right-click brings up the menus. And uh, you can move these around, and resize them, and all sorts of stuff. Um, read your papers by pressing the space bar, looking at them, and select take a pa Here are my papers. Take them and read them. It's closed. Oh, whoops. I gotta take them. Sorry. Take. You now have an inventory menu where you can see what you are carrying. Uh, like all menus, right click to use your menu. You can click and move objects from the world to your inventory. So. Oh, I know. I should put my pants on. I'm very basic looking, as you can see. Continue right. through to the next Sounds building and talk to Salas Gravius. He opens the door for me. And now I have um, free reign of this room here where I'm going to get some, some supplies. Uh, it says here, you should learn how to do combat. Pick up that dagger on the table by activating it with spacebar. So there's a dagger here and a spacebar. Equip the dagger by dropping it uh, onto your picture in the inventory menu. So right-click to open up. Put the dagger and that's in my hand. Press F to pull out your weapon. Once the weapon is readied, hold and release the left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing it, the more damage it does, but the more fatigue you will drain. Alright, so F. So I've got a, got a little weapon here. And if you guys can see down the bottom left hand corner down there, the green bar is my fatigue. And you can see it's slowly going down. If I let it 
go, it'll recharge itself. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, uh, let's, let's read this here. This is a note to the Hariskar. Don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw before morning. So, letters, books, and scrolls can be read by equipping them in your inventory menu. And guys, what I'm going to do here, uh, I can sell this stuff in town. So I'm going to, like, make this... I'm just going to take all these... Alright, so you can also look inside these these uh, chest thingies here. Uh, script jerky, take all. Okay. Yep. Let's take take all this stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you guys um, in this game you can use for alchemy, all sorts of stuff. All right, a lock pick. Fork. And I can sell all these items mostly in town for a little bit of money. Probably like two or three coins. Um, it's probably not much at all. I'm trying to think if if bread can you eat bread? I forget what you can do with bread. Uh, yeah, you can eat bread. I think it restores health. Um, I keep trying to use Minecraft keys. All right, let's equip the lockpick. Yes, open it up. Oops. Spacebar. All right, we got 31 gold. Yes, sweet. Let's see if we got the. Uh, let's put the dagger back in our hands. And let's head down here. I gotta use these controls again, man. I used to play this game literally all the time. Frodo and I, when we were in, in school together, um, we used to play this in the wee hours of the morning. Let me tell you. It was so much fun. So I'm just stealing everything in this place. I don't really care. Torches, you name it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out here. Um, into Seda Neen. And actually over here in this... Oh, here we go. You have a map menu. It shows you the name of the place you are in and you're facing. Um, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to find this enchanted ring here. So, um, there's a story with this guy, a little, a small quest, you want to, you probably want to get that right at the beginning. Um, press R to activate your magic menu. That's a pleasant noise. Alright, press spacebar to call, talk to the captain. Select, uh, topics to ask them about. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. So, here is like kind of the quest menu and the, and the how you talk to people. He says, first let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravis, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morwen. So you can click background. I am Celis Gravis and Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. Or you can click Morwen. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here. But your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim uh, the Seventh himself, and I don't, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor. So pay attention, or pay careful attention. So you click on, well, we click on Uriel Septim, and we get the uh, story about the Empire, which I'm not going to read. I'm going to click on duties, however. And here, this is the important stuff. So it says, this package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Cassius Cossades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Cassius Cossades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a uh, dispersal to your name. Your journal has been updated. Directions to Cassius Cossades has been added to your inventory. Package for Cassius Cossades has been added to your inventory. And 87 gold has been added to your inventory. I click goodbye and I'm on my way. So let's head out into the actual town of Sedanin. Press J to use the journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out Ariel's trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. Also, guys, if you want to buy this uh, this game, it's like about twenty dollars on Steam, I think. Uh, you can get it on Steam along with Oblivion. Um, so press J. It says here, my orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vardenf. Vardenfeld District, and report to a man named Cassius Cossades. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the Corner Club uh, 
called South Wall. When I find Cassius Cossades, I must give him a package of documents and wait for further orders. Go ahead, All sir. right. So this guy over here, uh, Fargoth is his name, I think. Yes, oh, I remember that. Ha, huh, Fargoth. What's up, dude? So he says, are you one of the, that the boat dropped off? Odd to see uh, that a boat arrived in time of the day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. You click on ring. He says, I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. And so he kind of seems like the town like geek and everybody picks on him. Poor guy. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Your journal has been updated. And here's, here's where the story comes into life, you guys. You have choices in the game. And um, I'm a nice person. And I'm going to say, yes, I found it. Here, take it. It says, you found it amazing. Thank you, thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Your journal has been updated, and the ring has been taken from my inventory. So I'm going to go to Ariel's trade house, and uh, this is it. Ariel's trade house is locked, though. Level 70 to get in there. Wow. All right, so Ariel's trade house. And here's where I'm going to sell back all that stuff that I got in the, in the store over there. So let's talk to Ariel. Welcome to a real trade house. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. Uh, you want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or our most popular scrolls? If you click a little advice, you get some information here. I'm going to go ahead and barter. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to drag, sell this stuff. And it's going to sort of pile up in a red border over here. So I don't really need Drew Wax, and I don't need Gold Canet. I don't need Crab Meat. I don't need Heather. I don't need Quama Cuddle, or Quama Egg, or Muck, or Scrib Jelly. Um, I don't need... I do need the directions. This Maybe I need this note. I don't need Chokeweed. So I'm freeing up my inventory, guys, and I'll, I'm also getting money. So let's see, your total sold... Cup is value of five, bowl is value of eight. So it adds up, you know. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Two buckets, don't need those. Might want to keep those torches just in case. Small comma egg, nah, I don't need that. I honestly don't remember what half this stuff is for, guys. I know a lot of this stuff was for alchemy, and I never really used alchemy when I played. You can craft like your own potions on the go and stuff. If your, if your skill is high enough. Um, so yeah, I mean, guys, this game is so unbelievably involved. I've only scratched the surface from when I played. Um, like, seriously, it's 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 crazy. All right, so we've got all this stuff here, and let's uh, offer this to him. And he sold it. He, he bought it. Um, let's barter again and see if we can get. Uh, actually, let me let me check something here. Goodbye. Let me right click. So I'm a Nord, and um, it looks like my major skills are short blade for weapons um, what else do you have here? axe is 15 so these are 35 uh, the higher the number the better chance you have of hitting somebody with it so short blade is 35 out of 100 so I'm gonna miss a lot when I fight but uh, I do want to have a, a short blade equipped so that um, it's a higher number when I use it so let's grab a um, let's see here iron tanto Okay, so if you look here at the little menu that shows up on the item itself, it says Iron Dagger type, short blade, one-handed. Chop is 4 to 5, slash is 4 to 5, thrust is 5 to 5, condition 400 out of 400, weight 3, value 1. Over here, I see a Iron Tanto, and it's got 5 out of 6, 5 out of 6, and 6 out of 6 with higher condition. So I'm very tempted here, and I think I'm going to splurge. Uh, oh, here we go. So this is a value of 14. This is a value of 80. So let's do the silver short sword because I think I have enough. So let's do the silver short sword. And I'm also gonna also kind of want some armor, you guys. So light armor is gonna be good. Um, and these are light. Underneath weight, there you can see it says light. So let's go ahead and get some boots. Um, some cuirass, gauntlets, power. Let's take the whole set. Let's do one shield. And what am I missing? Am I missing a helmet? Alright, let's do off. 
Alright, so let's go equip our well, guy here. Care to talk? Right clicked open the menu and uh, we'll just place the boots on him kind of one at a time. So, uh, uh, apologize, I'm sorry, apologize. Gauntlet, Tigris. We need. Is it shield? We need. Uh, Greaves. Let's see here. I don't have. Does this guy have Greaves? I don't know. Let's check him out. Uh, heavy Greaves. Doesn't look like he's got any. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I sold back to him. Does not look like he has any um, light greaves, but guys, this is a little bit of armor. It'll help us out. So let's cancel and say goodbye. And um, what's the? I forget what the. Uh, oops! I just pressed the save button. I forget what it is. Oh, tab. Tab is how you can see ourselves. And if we hold tab, we can check our little dude out like this. So pretty cool. So I press F, and now I've got my my dagger. Oh, I got to equip my new sword, my short sword. So let's check this out, and there we go. There's, our, there's my, my new sword. Now, guys, if I were to attack this guy right here, um, if I were to attack a real, that would be bad for me. Very bad. Uh, partially because I now have a bounty on my head, and um, the guards in the town here will come after me. So I'm waiting. So let's head down to these signs here, you guys. And, um, my sword away so I'm not threatening anybody. And we gotta find, ba find Balmora. So these are towns, Halaod, uh, Narmok, Vivek, Pelagiad, Ebonheart, and Balmora. And Balmora is this way. This is Sedanine, we're gonna say goodbye. So let's, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and end the episode here, you guys. And um, pause it. In the next episode, we'll be heading to Balmora to find uh, Cassius Kossads. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you want to see some more of this, please let me know. Leave me a comment um, and a like on this video. And uh, it would be much appreciated. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, bye.